Hello, welcome back. Last time I wandered around to the surface for a bit, found some new places, and uh, then learned a bit about how bears work and came and killed the cheese master. So there was a thing here. There was a note. These little pests stole my key, lure them out of their holes and bring the key to me. I was trying to figure out, it sounded like there was a puzzle here. Uh, I had an idea, somebody else had the same idea. I wonder if these little tiny feral rats respond to cheese in any way because there is a whole lot of cheese here what do you think of cheese or like you can put cheese in there does that do something which holes do I want to lure them out of probably not there because let's see bring the key to me those guys don't seem to be responding to it do I want to fill all the holes with cheese? Do I want to put it in front of the holes? I'm not sure yet. Let's just move this cheese around. See if it does anything. You looked like you wanted to look at it, but I think that was just a coincidence. Wait, you looked like you wanted to look at it. No, they don't seem interested. So just outside the hole. Hmm. Okay, well, it was a good idea, but it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Are there any other holes around? There's one. Okay, well, nothing seems to be happening there. Could it be... Let's see, this is where I came in. No, it's not. Where is this? That was a shortcut I opened, I see. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, that cheese floats. <laughs> or more accurately, probably any item that goes on that altar floats a bit. This doesn't have a shadow. That does. I can't really tell. Huh, some items have shadows and some don't. And cheese is the only one that's clearly floating. Hmm. Oh, okay, that one does too. Did I have a potion of wisdom I didn't drink? I did. I thought I did. Hey, you're really close to a level up. Uh, this could almost get you there. And let's see, you're actually the furthest ahead. All right, everybody is actually about to level up, so that's nice. Can distri distribute some skill points. I noticed, uh, since you have air magic, yeah, you have air magic three, you can cast invisibility, which I have never used, ever. I think I actually cast it once, but didn't understand what it did. Enemies can't see you. I've heard it's not very good, but I have that now. It's an option. If I ever have an occasion to sneak around. All right, let me try one more thing here. I'm going to fill every hole with cheese. Oh, 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 what the? Hi. It did something. Wow. Okay! <laughs> I didn't expect that to do anything. Well, there we go. Alright, I got a gold key. Nice! Wow, what a... What a subtle, weird little puzzle. <laughs> nice! Okay! So, good idea. Um, other person saying that made me more stubborn about it than I would have been if it was just me. So, thanks for that comment. Okay, um, might be, but probably isn't. Probably was just, there was loot on it when I came in here. So I'm just going to take that off. I can see that there's a, there's a table thing on there. I think that's, that's enough. <laughs> I found enough stuff here that I suspect there's no more. Okay, anyway, good. So Cheese Master done. Cool. My goal for today was to kill the fire guard. I don't know if I'll get that far, but I will kind of go in that direction. There was something I needed to take care of couple of things. Did I... did I not open this chest? You have a lot of lockpicks. I might not have. Um, so that would take me over there. Oh yeah, right, because I jumped down the thingy and the only way out takes me to the opposite side of where the teleporter was. So it's going to be a bit of a walk. Okay. Okay, so I did actually open this chest. Had to check. I also realized that I hadn't marked this on the map. So I did now. Got that there. Alright, so take that off. I was trying to jump down this pit because there was a... Um, 
There's a chest down there that I'd like to loot. Is this in my way here? I've been everywhere that's interesting to get to from there. Now I note that that's very close to where this mysterious inaccessible energy bridge was created. I pressed a button on this wall from this ledge and it made it here. Like that's not connected to this, it's connected to something there, but nothing else. This is just all open space around it. So unless there's a way to go down there, then I don't see quite how to get to that. Okay, now well, let me walk around and uh, get to that, that other pit that I did open. Okay, this uh, trapdoor is indeed open now. Let's climb down. <laughs> I heard it open again. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, so I didn't actually end up drinking that potion of wisdom. Right now, I could take this, give it to you, drink that. You gain a level. That seemed unusually loud. Hmm. So you're wearing a fire torque. Um, I'm going to also give you fire magic 5, which will give you fire mastery. So now your resist fire is 100. And if I take this off... It's 62, so I still think I want to wear this. You'll be a bear during that battle. You have 66, which is the worst of anybody in my party at that point, but still pretty good. 68, okay. So front front dudes have more health anyway, so they can take it better. All right, so you'll have 100, you'll have 100, and we'll be in great shape for a fire guard. Okay. Uh, let me make sure my area is safe before I do that. I see also... I've interacted with whatever that was. Oh yeah, this was a button, I think, to open... Yeah, yeah, that trapdoor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definer's Cloak. Didn't I have one of these? Or like... Hmm. Let's see how it feels. Let's see, so 300. I wonder... Why does that, why does that decrease my evasion? That's weird. Um... Oh cool, a crystal flower. And a gold key. Man, I have so many of those. <laughs> I almost feel like I should just start spending them because I have so- Oh, and a red gem! And a, I have another red gem, right, from the cheese master. Okay, so I can learn two new things from the teacher. I should certainly do that. Alright, so the main mystery here, now, is, um... Okay, not really that. That's- I think this could just be ornamentation. Because uh, there didn't really seem to be any way down there. But maybe... Maybe there's a zone here and maybe it... Comes in there somehow or something. This is my main mystery in here at the moment. It's pretty weird. Oh, and here's some stuff that I can access that I never did, really. Or I guess I sort of... Well, no. No, this is a separate section. Okay, so this... This is Granite Caves. This is Old Mine, as labeled. Okay, so Old Mine has unexplored areas. So does Troll Plateau. I have not found any figurines yet. Also, there's like a bunch of space here and a gate. Yeah, there's something in northern Greyfoot Hills. I think that's the actual hills part of it. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to go fight that fire guard. Um, I think I'm okay with leaving these mysteries behind for the moment. So how would I get there? That goes to... Underground passage. All right, well, oh yeah, eventually I need to come back to Sunken City because I do have water breathing now, and I haven't really learned how it works yet. Like, when I cast it, it makes a breath noise, but doesn't visibly... I should try that. Okay, so let's find some water. Uh, where would I find some water? I know a place. Going generally toward transporters, but here's, here's some. Okay, so I'm going to cast this again. Now let's just watch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh! That's weird. <laughs> That's super weird. So that's what water breathing is like. How long does it last, I wonder? I see those bars are filling up more and more. Is this going to get to the top and that tells me when it ends? 
That's fascinating. Okay. What a weird way to implement that, but that's that's fair, I guess. Uh, I don't know how long this lasts. I don't... Okay, that long. Now I do. <laughs> Had to do that test. Looked like about close to a minute. So without that, I get like 15 seconds before people start drowning. With that, I get about a minute. Okay, nice. Well, good. I'm glad I did that test. Um, okay, so from here I want to go th there and then to burial grounds, I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Okay, a few things before I go anywhere. Uh, I stashed this hand cannon over here and some useless stuff there. I have this riddle that I haven't worked out yet. I need to... I don't remember where I got that. I think it was somewhere down in, like, this general area, I think, but I don't remember for sure. So I should probably check where I got that and mark that somewhere and see if I can... Perhaps the name Larton will be uh, referenced somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, so you have Fire Magic 5, so I believe I can do this now. And that's Meteor Storm. Neat. He uses a fair bit of uh, stuff, but that should be his best attack now. Very nice. Devastating Storm, Meteors on your foes. Cool stuff. Okay. Uh, also, I got two new red gems, which I've already stashed in here. So let's just go ahead and do a quick save. Oops. Do a cast light. Cast light. Quick save and see what this will tell me. So these should all be old. The new ones will be... Each floor of the Dark Tower contains one secret. Neat. I know that you're hungry. To find the secret chamber, you must use all gold keys. Fascinating. Whoa. Okay. Uh, each floor of the Dark Tower contains one secret. To find the secret chamber, you must use all gold keys. Okay. So that's updated. Alright. Good to know. Uh, useful information. So, use all gold keys. Like, literally open every one of these and everything in here. So there are 12 gold keys in the whole game? Maybe. And then when I use them all, there's going to be an extra secret chamber that gives me something cool there? It's plausible. Okay, because there have been quite a few of these. I did take a look through these, and there's a lot of this stuff that I would pretty much never get, especially since, like, I have a Diviner Cloak already. I'm wearing it. I don't really like it that much. Diviner's Cloak. Yeah, that's what the name says. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Like, sure, I could use that and get the Secret Chamber, but, like, I would have no other reason to get some of this. Like, the Circlet of War... Unless I wanted Baffin to wear it for some reason. Um, Harak already has something that's clearly better. Okay, anyway. Um, where am I? What am I doing? Uh, burial Grounds. I don't have the teleporter yet. I'm going to go there, fight the Fire Guard, and see if maybe that helps me activate it. Let me make sure... Well, it's not like... <laughs> it's not like I, I have anything stashed here that I would take with me to prepare. So, I know everything I'm going to know now. Uh, so, hang on. It was... Speed potion. I wanted to know about that. I think it was like that. It's like... Is that a speed potion? What does a speed potion look like? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so two falcon skyer and an ether weed. So I do have one of those. Let's just shuffle these a bit. So you got bear form, speed, energy. Still planning to use the bear form strategy for this. And yeah, gotta walk the long way to burial grounds. So let's get over there. Oh, hey, food, 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 and food. Take food inventory. Everybody's a little bit hungry. Let's see how far I can get with that before I have to... Yeah, I might need to buy some. I mean, I can fill everybody's stomach as it is now. And have a little bit left over. So, oh shoot, you should be eating cheese. Dang it. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> All right. Fine. So you have plenty of food. Don't feed Kefo anything but cheese, as before. I don't have much for other people, so... Okay, stomachs are full. I'll just hope I find some in burial grounds. Or, you know, activate the teleporter so I can get back there easier and get some new food. Stuff like that. Okay, I redid the Invisible Labyrinth, which is not too bad when I know which way to go. Dark Tower Cellar, keep out. 
So, um, one thing I certainly need to prepare is this. I do worry you'll run out of energy, and I'll be scrambling to, um... I'd rather not drink a greater energy potion, but it makes more sense than brewing a new one, because you're about to get, when you level up, alchemy 4 and be able to brew those anyway, so it's not really a waste. Um... That's fine. Is that enough healing potions? I probably won't be using a whole lot because I'm just using fire resistance to basically be immune to everything. So you two just have passive fire resistance. So do you at this point. Doesn't require any maintenance. You're going to, you're the one I need to manage actively. I only want to use one of these potions I, optimally. So is everybody's equipment what it should be? I believe so. I still have those <laughs> in off hands. So I should be aware of that. Alright, so you can... No, you won't be able to do anything but swipe with your, your claws. Okay. So you're going to be the star of the show here, Kefo. Quick save. Uh, let me just think about the actions I'm going to take. I can charge these weapons if I want to. You will cast... You need air magic 4 to cast... Um, oh, right. Fire shield. Well, sure. I mean, that'll be even better. Right. So you'll be doing Fire Shield and Shock. Those will be your only real spells you'll be casting. Maybe Dark Bolt. There's no reason I couldn't, but I don't know how good it is for damage. Probably not very. So Meteor Storm won't help. Fire Burst, Fireball will not help. Okay. Quick, what's that? Oh, neat. Okay, cool. Uh, I forgot I'd given you that. Okay, so open. So we're going to do Fire Shield first before anything. All right, let's go. Be a bear. Now, don't worry mostly about... Okay, again, you're the star of the show. Wow, that did literally no damage. Everybody has resist fire 100. I can just stand here and you can't do anything to me. Oh, wow, that's cool. Ha! So I should stand in a place where I'm in the fire and you're not. That's super cool. All right, so keep a super close look at fire shield and refresh it when... So that does injure. Okay, so there is a reason still to not get hit by those. But only one small one. Bear's also injured. Um, that fire shield's probably going to expire in a moment. So is bear form. So I refreshed that. Be ready to shield again. It feels like a waste to drink a potion to uh, just to fix your your injury since you're still... You're still viable. You have no... Ooh, accuracy. That's fine. You're doing okay. Fire shield expired. Uh, fire shield expired. There we go. Stop standing in the fire. I can stand in it. That's fine. Okay, you are low on energy. Um, and that is important. So I'll probably drink a potion with you and one with KFO2. Okay, so let's... Let me do this one first. Then this. Coordination. You can only click so many things at a time. What a fascinating encounter. Uh, no. Yep. Ah. Yep. Ah. You are doing getting some misses. Yeah, you're getting quite a few misses. I should make you a more effective combatant like that. Alright, he's down. Nice. Wow, that was like super different from... Okay, another one of those to spend. <laughs> so many injuries. Um, I'll fix them momentarily. That was super different from the the way I thought that fight would have gone. And you're still a bear for a moment. But not anymore. Nice. That was so cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like, I basically just solved that encounter, like, as a puzzle. It's just like, that's that's how you do it, and be... In perfect shape for everything. Oh, nice. And so now I don't have to go through the, this anymore. Uh, so I'm just going to remove those markers because I know which way to go if I have to. Dark Tower Cellar. Okay, so that's the way I have not gone. Let me save that. Before I go anywhere, I should definitely visit a Crystal of Life. There's one. Just over here. And I mean, I guess that'll do the saving for me. Cool, that was super neat. I went from feeling completely underprepared to just so prepared that like the encounter was almost trivial. I just had to do some have enough coordination not to not to get lost in what I was doing. Keep fire shield up, keep bear form up, and everything's great. Oh hey! 
Oh, I'm going into the tower here. So Dark Tower is Warlock Tower, then, I've learned. I hear a power gem in this direction. Torch, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. That's for you. You don't have any of those. That's not good. You should definitely have at least one. Uh, I drank... Somebody drank a healing potion? I'm not sure who. I guess I'll do this for now. Nice, I drank a couple of those. Ooh, that sounds good. Protection one, willpower two. That's more energy than energy plus whatever. Hey, your evasion went up. How nice. Still in, a, in the negatives. So if I were committing to negative evasion, you could wear just whatever the heck armor you want. You could wear heavy armor. You're a battle mage, so uh, weight of equipped armor is reduced by 50%. So that's an option. An interesting approach. Hey, a skull key. Okay, those exist. All right. Am I ready for the Dark Tower? No, not at all, probably. But I guess I'll take a peek. I'm going here a little bit at least. Oh, that's... Wait, no, this is... Uh... So that's the cellar. This is... The place I keep trying to explore but never got that far. Unlucky Apprentice forgot his name. Rest well, my nameless minion. I will need you soon. Okay. At least one of those is going to come to life and attack me if I dig it up. That's f probably fine. Oh, so that's how you get in here. All right, well, let's go ahead and open that. I'll take a super quick peek. Many, many flapping wings. Oh, those things. Okay, well, that's the... Uh, that is Dark Tower, Floor 1. All right. Good to know. Again, I think that's late game stuff... I could explore it a little bit, but they don't feel like an urgent need to. I looted this chest. Okay, so I'm here. All right, I found my way back to there. Cool. Let's get this filled in. Sound of a power gem. So yeah, that was the power gem I was seeing from here. I can kind of sort of triangulate. Somewhere around there. Uh, I went down that pit already. It's that wide. It just leads to... Just so I know, since the map doesn't actually mark it. That's all pit. I can never fill in those spaces. That's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. That's the best... Oh, well, that mostly did it. Okay. I just don't like having map boundaries that look like places I could go, but I can't. Okay, more food. I did find some. Not much, but some. Hmm, chest. Chest that, even though I can see it so clearly right here, still is not showing up in my map. Uh, so, sure looks. Okay, there we go. Like this wall slides open, was the next words I was going to say. But it happened before I could describe it. What a weird little, like, step down here. Huh, that's strange. This is a shrine of Earth. Okay. What a weird place for that. But that's where it is. Man, all these crystal flowers. Awesome. So clearly this is balanced, or Thrine. Yep. Um balanced around... Yeah, each shrine has a chest in it. Okay, so I don't need to mark those, really. Just mark them as the, the shrine. Whoops. Yes, I moved that marker. It's fine. It's close enough. Uh, each shrine has a... Um... Where was that power gem? Approximately here? I'm not hearing it anymore. Did it stop? Or is the ambience just covering up the noise? I hear it a little bit, I think. It's so quiet now, though. Like, standing here was pretty close to it. Somewhere? Somehow? 
This is bothering me for some reason. Yeah, okay. It's more like here, still in my right ear. So yeah, each shrine has had a chest in it that's inaccessible until I put the essence on the thing, presumably. I've seen one essence, so I know where they where they hang out, roughly. Um, there's stuff down south with no obvious way to get there. There's this mystery. There's this. I was going to do this once I had Meteor Storm, and I have Meteor Storm now. Hmm. None of those were pits. Yeah, many, many mysteries. Um, okay, I feel like there was one other thing I wanted to explore and check on. Let me just take a peek at my notes and see what I wanted to do. Alright, I didn't actually have that much noted other than just do the Hall of Darkness after you get Meteor Storm. I have it now. Let's, um, let's give that a try, I guess. Alright, so here is a central mystery. Hall of Darkness. Quick way to get there is through that wind gate. Quick way to get there is across those two bridges and down those stairs. Cool. So I'm going to attempt, just for a... That silhouette looks exactly like Aetherweed from here, but when I get up close, it's just grass. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt killing at least some of those ghouls manually so I get the experience. Um, so the thing about this, I'm fairly certain... I, I chose hard difficulty. I am fairly certain that monsters move... Like, they take steps much more often on hard difficulty. I don't move any faster. So this becomes perhaps impossible on hard? Maybe? I don't know. Um, so let's just see how many of these I can kill from a distance. Like, doing some of that. Probably, maybe zero. Maybe zero. Alright, fine. So if I wanted to do this... Let's play it this way. I wasted a bit of... I mean, I'll still try. No, I mean, I just have to... Well, they're being much nicer to me than they were previously. Yes, I know how to use the, the heads. Supposedly these respawn and come from, like, all over the place. Uh, you, I let you get too close. I let you get too close. You're not going to have enough energy for that. And now I'm pretty much dead. So any get through it all. And it's just game over, basically. Alright, Meteor Storm didn't do much. Um, I'll save my energy for Force Fiam. Hmm. I don't know what to do if I fail. I guess I could just reload if I fail. I could just not fail. <laughs> uh, there's no way to really slow those down as far as I know. Let me just see if I can do this puzzle better. If I hang out on one of the edges, I think maybe the ones on the other edge will be less aggressive, possibly. One annoyance is I can't see past these. I have to have to move back and forth to see what's right in front of me. So yeah, this is just too deadly to... Um, and like, if they walk into it, it doesn't work. I have to actually actively press it. But yeah, I think my strategy of making... making the edge ones less aggressive or try to come to me by sticking to the other opposite edge... Seems like it's working. I see you there. You're going to become a problem because you're on the opposite edge as that. I made it. So this is definitely not impossible. And Oh shoot, hard difficulty. Um, maybe I can just kill him super quick, but I need to attend to the others. See, now, now, I'm, now I'm getting overwhelmed. Can I kill super quick? I killed one. I died also. But like, maybe I can just like get around now? Let him miss out on the experience for a moment. This seems fightable at this point. Ooh, no it doesn't. I changed my mind. That's not fightable at all. Can I just like lure you back into... Alright, fine. You're all over here. No, you're not. There's plenty over here. Let's look around. Since this seems like a failed attempt, what's here? It's a scythe and a gold key. Okay, cool. Uh, what's that say? That's a, There's a pit there with a sign. Well, I'm cornered. Alright, I think I can do that encounter. Let me just try another time or two. New idea. What if I use force fields to create a bottleneck? I'll bet I can get up here quick enough. 
to make sure that nobody comes down that column. Now they'll all be closer and easier to deal with. Now that won't last forever. So it's when they when they get that close. Part of my problem is I, I have like a weird amount of trouble judging exactly how close they need. Yeah, that didn't last long, never mind. This is one reason why Harpy needs concentration for more effective force fields. And yeah, there's no cooldowns there. I was just clicking the wrong place. Ah, you moved first. Yeah! Okay, so you need to be entombed. Problem is, in doing that, I lose track of where everybody else is. Can I get around to the other side of you and then just like... Like, I can pull them back. I can. It's an option. Hit it, hit it, hit it! You're not hitting it! Ah, it's so hard to aim. Well, this is certain death. Try again. Okay, so I think best strategy was the one I used on the attempt before that one. I'll queue up a force field, so you're immediately ready to cast it. I'll make no aggressive actions other than just pressing these buttons. I can see everything. You're moving to the side, which is weird. Try to keep your cursor in the exact same spot, because not having it in the right place is what killed me last time. Okay. Got you, just barely. See, yeah, like, I can't... Oh, I could. Okay, okay, so that did work, but boy, it did not feel good. Eh, okay, so here's where I do that. And just try and defer dealing with you for as long as possible until the m most of them are already dead. So I'll queue up another force field. Re-imprison you. Stay away. Be dead. There's one somewhere up there. He'd be dead. Okay. Keep that ready. You're not there yet. I know you want to be. Okay, now, shoot, now I have two. Maybe I can start killing at this point. This seems maybe viable. If I'm down to just one that's like, that knows about me, then it's okay. But there's one to my right. Okay, so this is becoming a problem again. Let's see if I can lure, then get around here and do some of this. Uh, I failed. I, ah, I can't move. Well, now I'm dead. So yeah, get cornered, it's just instant failure. Okay, this is round five or something. Still think that's a good strategy. Let's do the same thing and just execute it better. You know who'd be really good at this? Turim. Because <laughs> he can move a lot faster and get to the buttons in time. Yeah, like, when I'm over here, they, they want to come toward me, so they'll, they'll tend to go to the side that I'm on. Ah, get your cursor in the right place. Keep it there. Don't move it unless you absolutely have to. Problem is, I absolutely have to if I want to cast Force Field. I guess I've decided at this point that getting the experience from these is just not worth it. Don't want to use up all of Harpy's energy on uh, Meteor Storms, because then I wouldn't be able to cast Force Field. Oh man, this has gone bad. This has gone very, very bad. That's a terrible place for a Force Field. So here's what I need to do. I need you to be over here so I can press a button and kill you. That's fine. Stay. Stay, 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 stay. Die. Die, 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 die. Oh, look at this swarm that's coming for me. This is not good. I think I've lost. But I, I might be wrong. That was good. Okay. I don't like the sounds I'm hearing. So if I run over here, everybody comes to me. What if I pull this lever? Is that, like, dropping down the pit or something? No. I did not successfully escape. Huh. Alright, minor tweak in this strategy. One problem I have with this is it's random number generator dependent. Uh, minor tweak to this strategy. I'm going to place a force field a bit later and a bit farther over here. So in that exact spot, it gets a force field. Ah, shoot. Well, let's just start over. That was a bad start. Alright, force field. I'll place it a little earlier. Placing it late messed me up there. Moving back and forth will change the way that they come to me. Nobody's coming. Yeah, seems like they just have to randomly decide to walk over. I see you, just barely in the distance. Okay, so here's where a force field goes, and you're dead. 
Okay. Uh, prepare that again as soon as I can spare the the cursor to do it. Now he's going to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spare the spare the time. I can't. Okay. How about now? I suppose I could quick save mid encounter here, but I don't want to. I want to do this all at once. It just feels better that way. Force field gone. Hey, click. Just click. Why do you not? My eyes are in the distance. It's hard to look close while I'm doing that to make sure my cursor is just at the right pixel. I wish those were less picky. I wish I could just click like anywhere on that, that entire model and have it activate. Okay. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Let's send a fireball down there and see what it reveals. It hits somebody. Let's do another. Boy, you can do that pretty quick. Can I kill this one? Maybe. Is this a bad idea? Maybe. Quite probably. But now I'm doing it. I'll get some experience. I don't want to go all the way over there to get backstabs because that's too... It's a dangerous area. Hey! And even a level up. Nice. Okay. So here's a strategy. I'm going to stay as far back here as I can. I can use those to kill things if they get too close. But let's, uh, let's fight for a bit here. As long as I have one at a time, they should be fightable. Stab, very good. Gotta check my back. I'm fine. Okay. 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 With the utmost care. Do I want to level you up? All I would give you is alchemy. That won't help me in combat. One step at a time. Okay, I hear somebody. There's one. You can charge an attack, can't you? I think you can. This one, certainly. And a backstab. Oh, hey, she makes a squeak noise when she does that. That might be the first time I've ever used that attack. I hear another. Charged backstab sounds like a good thing to do to me. Nice. Okay. Okay, I think I might have won. Looks like... Yeah, it looks like this is clear. Nice. So what do you say? The Path of Suffering. Oh, would that perhaps... Yeah, that goes to Torment Hall. Okay, good to know. That lever did not open that. Also, you know, I never... I never discovered what a... What was that? Yeah, okay, didn't need to use a round key there. That was weird. Uh, I never discovered what this meant. Perhaps that's something I could have found later that would have skipped that boss fight, but I wouldn't want to skip it. I don't know. The scythe is two-handed, two -handed, heavy, two-handed. Hey, um, I have somebody who can use heavy two-handed weapons. Also, <laughs> you're still being left-handed because you had an injury, but you've recovered now. Uh, hey, is that like... So you have Titan's Grip, right? Ogre's Grip, whatever it's called. Requires heavy weapons for critical too. Oh, you don't have enough critical. But that's the... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's just the special... So you'd lose your charge, but you gain a much stronger base attack, and you get a hand-me-down. That sounds good to me. Awesome. And that is better, right? Of course. Cool. Okay. And another gold key. So now I know those are important to collect. So that probably just opens the, um, the entrance. Did I already pull that? No. So what's up with the closed pit? Torment Hall is closed for your own good, I guess. But surely there's a way to reopen it. The path of suffering. Maybe with like 
low health or somebody dead or like some injuries. Like if I were suffering, perhaps that would just open up to me. Or like poisoned, maybe there's a use for the poignant potion. I don't know. Okay, well, in any case, I did the Hole of Darkness. It was actually not that bad. Looked scary. Gave me... Had to try it a few times. Um, <laughs> gave me a whole lot more trouble than the Fire Guard once I had solved that encounter. Alchemy! Nice! Alright, so now you can make the big potions with how many... Yeah, okay, I have a decent mushroom and etherweed collection. That's pretty acceptable. Cool. Okay, well that was good. Um, good things happened today. Uh, don't specifically have a plan for next time. Probably going to return to either Sunken City or, yeah, either Sunken City or, well, see now, I can't really go to Great Foothills because I've run out of stuff there, so it would have to be, no, no, I haven't. There's this. There's that. There's Troll Plateau, which has the Essence of Earth in it. I guess if I wanted to, I could try the Orb Guardian now. So I seem to have, like, gotten over the hump of, like, old encounters being too hard for me. I've, I've leveled up and upgraded my equipment enough that, like, I'm actually doing stuff now. You'll be getting critical eventually. I certainly would like critical. It's, it's, it's an, I think it's an underappreciated skill. It's good stuff. Okay, I'll see you next time to do something somewhere.